welcome back to my channel Avanti Morocha. Today I'm going to show you how to etch glass. For this I'm going to use Silhouette Glass Etching Starter Kit. I want to thank Silhouette for sending me this product to try out. This kit includes idea book and step-by-step -step instructions, an instructional DVD, a download card, a silhouette hook, a scraper, three feet of stencil vinyl and transfer tape, and the etching cream. This was my first time etching glass and after some trial and error I learned quite a bit. For beginners I recommend using large containers like these ones, a simple shape like a cylinder because it is easy to work with allowing you to place the stencil vinyl flat. Avoid using wine glasses for your first attempts. The main reason is that laying a stencil vinyl on this type of shape is hard and can result in wrinkles and bubbles which are more than a little frustrating. Master etching simple shape containers before moving on to wine glasses. For this project I'm using this design which I put together. If you like it, you can download it for free from my blog avantimorocha.com. It's available as a Studio 3 and SVG files. You can change the leather to the leather that you want. Now I'm going to present the material is vinyl glossy, action cut, tool auto blade, and the settings are the defaults. Now present, cut it. Remember to have the glossy side of the vinyl facing up. I fast forward this part because the stencil vinyl is clear and the backing is white, it's hard for you to see the design. Use your fingers and the hook tool to remove the part of the stencil vinyl you want to etch. Cut a piece of transfer tape of the same size. Place the transfer tape over the stencil vinyl. Use the scraper tool to secure it in place. Remove the backing from the stencil vinyl. Apply the adhesive side of the vinyl to the glass, remove any wrinkles or bubbles. Peel away the transfer tape. You can reuse the transfer tape for another project. Mask the area around the design. For this part, wear gloves and have a damp paper towel close by. Mix the etching cream really well before using it. Using a paintbrush, apply a thick even layer of etching cream. Let the cream set for 60 seconds. Wipe the cream using a damp paper towel. You can also scrape the cream back into the bottle to reuse it. If you are a beginner, I recommend wiping it. Take it to the sink and wash it thoroughly. After you wash it, remove the painter's tape and stencil vinyl.
All done. I'm going to repeat the previous steps for this design. The mustache and lip designs are two of the 10 designs included in Silhouette Glass Etching Starter Kit. Depending on the design, placing the vinyl over a wine glass without making too many bubbles or wrinkles can be challenging. To get good results, be sure that there are no wrinkles or bubbles touching the design's border. For my first few attempts, I used wine glasses thinking they would be easy. However, I discovered they are definitely more challenging than simple shapes. Here are a couple of my errors. I didn't remove some wrinkles from the design border and the cream went through. I didn't place the layer of etching cream evenly. I have some empty spaces. I tried to etch the empty spaces again, but I made things worse. I didn't mask the area around the design properly and some cream spilled outside the design. I wanted to show you my mistake, so you know practice makes perfect. I hope you like this video and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. If you are interested in getting a cameo, I'm going to leave you the links to where you can buy it in the info box below the video. If you are new to my channel and you like what you see, hit the subscription button, tap the notification bell so you get informed every time I release a new video. Don't forget to visit my blog, follow me on my social media, like this video and share it with your loved ones. See you soon! Ciao ciao!